boy, it's your boy. It's your boy, damn you, Pink, and I am the Hip Hop Junkie. Brought to you by the Mother Effort Hip Hop Junkie. Brought to you by the Mother Effort Hip Hop Junkie. And this is just another, just another Hip Hop, Hip Hop Junkie reaction. Uh, uh, yeah. And hey, this is for everybody that has not been here before. We some real Hip Hop Junkies around here. And, uh, I got some comments about how, uh, this group right here are pioneers of the hip hop without me even knowing about it. I got a couple of they shits on my playlist, my Spotify playlist, my motherfucking Pandora and shit like that. And I had no idea that these dudes were from London, from the UK. And most of my fans, most, uh, not even most, but most of my surprise subscribers, at least about 60% of my subscribers are from the UK. So I had to go ahead and uh, go ahead and do this right here real quick. Just to make sure that I got my knowledge of that I'm not missing something, something I did not know. So uh, let's go into this, man. We're not gonna get too much into it. Let's go. But I love this track right here. You love this track? Please check it out. Let me let me see what exactly which one of this is. I got so many songs, bro. Jackie Mento Ghetto Organ. Jackie Mento. Ghetto organ. That's Jackie. This way you think it is. And an M I T T O. Ghetto organ. Shit's fire. I know it's fire. I know it's fire. I know it's flame. This shit came out in the 70s or some shit. This shit fucking flame. Hip hop junkie. Style. Hip hop junkie style. Let's get into this video real quick. Let me see where I'm at. Alright, cool. Let's go. Just to get my knowledge on, bro. I had to get my knowledge on. I, hey, this is, yo, know, this is this is real important shit right here. Like some people don't know where a lot of our influences come from, and uh, they come from all over the world, man. So this is dope shit. Let's see what this is about. Something I didn't know. Oh yeah, I'm making sure y'all 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 can see me. That's all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> If it wasn't for their music, there'd be no, no such thing as hip hop or jungle or modern day R&B, or even disco for that matter. The accidental heroes. Hold up, man. They said there wouldn't be house or disco. I need smoke for this. or modern day if it wasn't for their music there'd be no no such thing as hip-hop or jungle or modern day r&b or even disco for that matter the accidental heroes of early hip-hop surprisingly came from britain london band simande broke up in the 70s but their music was rediscovered and shot to prominence in the early 90s after being sampled by hip-hop pioneers, De La Soul, the Fugees, and the Wu-Tang Clan. On a, on a pirate oh. station, that's why I play. That's so funny. Like, hold up. <laughs> this is this is mind-boggling right now. Hold up. DJ Norman J. On a, on a pirate oh. station, that's why I play them. DJ Norman J. recognized their unique sound and used to play their music on pirate radio in London in the 80s. That's proto-hip-hop, you know, before there's such a thing called hip-hop. You know, go online, YouTube, check it, and, you think, and then you'll go, ah, it's a penny drop moment. I see. Caribbean immigrants Patrick Patterson and Steve Scipio first formed the band in South London in the 70s. We became friends in 1963, um, had a mutual interest in music and started developing uh, that interest. After playing gigs around London, a producer heard their music and signed them up to an independent label. They released their first album in 1972. The band landed a tour in the United States with soul musician Al Green. We did the Apollo uh, in Harlem, which was, as I say, a very heady time for the band. You know, um, I wouldn't say it was wholly unex 
expected because we always had ambition and aspirations. So getting that opportunity was really very, um, very important for us. When you got back to the UK after that heady period, as you call it, were the phones going off the hook? Well, it seems as if the phones have been thrown in the dustbin. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that the music industry in the United Kingdom was not fair to us. It was not fair to all the black bands of the, the time. It was difficult to, to, to get access and difficult to get exposure. A recently released documentary about the band Ooh, tells the story of Simande's struggle to break through in 1970s London. A time That's crazy. I've heard these dudes. I just didn't know their story. I heard this. I've heard the songs. I had no idea where they were from. That's kind of that's kind of crazy, yo. All right, this is this is dope. I like this, man. Was the story of Simande's struggle to break through in 1970s London, a time of high political tension. It's a tragedy for Britain, a tragedy for the British people. We do not have sufficient houses, jobs, and schools for our own people, let alone immigrants. In 1975, Simande became disillusioned and disbanded. There's no good reason at that time for banging our heads against the wall, so to speak. We decided to take the band off the road for a while. While Patrick Patterson and Steve Scipio went on to train as lawyers, their records began a life of their own in America. Hip-hop artists were discovering Simande's music, mining vinyl collections, to create some of the first samples used in hip-hop. <laughs> For early hip hop artists, Simande's first album became legendary. Play that one part on this side, mix it on that side, mix it back and forth. Now we got something. And that was like the beginning stages of what we know right now. Got something. Mix it back and forth. Play that one part on this side, mix it on that side, mix it back and forth. That's an actually good sample. I'm actually going to download this video. That part where he's just talking, Jazzy is talking, and that beat's going in. Three. Play that one part on this side, mix it on that side. First album became legendary. Play that one part on this side, mix it on that side, mix it back and forth. Now we got something. And that was like the beginning stages of what we we got something. Now you go, got something, and they hit do 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 that shit's gonna be hard. Hold up. I, yeah, yo, 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 yo. I appreciate this, man. I love a little knowledge about hip hop that I know nothing about, bro. Dope. Now we got something. And that was like the beginning stages of what we know right now is hip hop. Here's Samande's track, Bra, is transformed into a 1990s original hip hop beat. The break became the whole record for us. The 11 DJs who started disco. We all played that. Documentary filmmaker Tim McKenzie Smith discovered the band's music decades ago and was hooked. It wasn't about PR, it wasn't about advertising, it wasn't about marketing. It was purely on the basis of different generations of people all over the world picking up on it and finding something they loved in it. Two decades after the band split, Samande's song Dub featured in American hip hop trio The Fuji's number one album. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's so fucking enlightening. That's cool as shit. My children were connecting with the music uh, before I, <laughs> before I did, because um, they were listening to that kind of music. I wasn't so much listening to it. I mean, I was heavily uh, practicing. Okay, so this is crazy. Like you literally made the music, like you know, like made the music, and you hear it, and you're like, oh, I'm not fucking with that shit. And then all of a sudden, you're like, hold up, I made that. That's me. Like, <laughs> that's a weird, dope. this is dope. This is dope. I never knew about these guys, bro. I never knew 
that they had so much influence and so much influence. So much influence happened in hip hop, but there's so so much influence. Like didn't know that disco was influenced by these cats. Didn't know hip hop was influenced by these cats. And then I know they were about to get in the house like uh, before I <laughs> before I did. Um... Because they were listening to that kind of music. I wasn't so much listening to it. I mean, I was heavily uh, practicing at, at law at the time, as was Patrick. On the mix one time. De La Soul and Gangsta also mined the Samande sacred crate. Once again, it's time to buy more soul. Later, you will see the your soul. But it wasn't just American artists repurposing Samande tracks. The music also featured in French rapper MC Solar's song Bouge de la, known as France's first hip hop hit. So we thought that was great for us, you know, because it. Now that beat was hard though. That beat was hard. Known as France's first hip hop hit. So we thought that was great for us, you know, because it, it was giving a fresh exposure to the music and also currency to the music. Now, 50 years later, Simande is back on the road, selling out shows in Australia and exposing a new generation to their unique music. We've done what we, what is clearly half of an album already. So when we go back to the United Kingdom, we're going to complete that mission. The most important thing, as you would know, is the fact that um, the hip hop community found in our music something that inspired them. It's a great thing. And as you can see, there was nothing but the absence of melanin. No, I'm just saying, yo, there's none but Caucasians in the in the audience that really respect the music these days. It's real crazy how you know brothers on this side of the Mississippi or on this side of the Atlantic or Pacific uh, really uh, just don't what do you generate or, or or contribute to our culture as much man like i'm a download nas ninja so i am literally a, a victim not a victim i'm the culprit <laughs> i'm the accused <laughs> for real real deal real deal shit but hey what is going on hey my name is damn unique and i am the hip-hop junkie brought to you by the hip-hop junkie i had to get into uh samundi samundi samindi i mean i messed it up man i am so add uh i really don't pay attention to shit and when it comes to names all i know is that i love the fucking music and i've always loved the music i've heard it and didn't know who it was shots out to fucking youtube shots out to people that are watching youtube shots out to everybody that's in the comments giving me new shit that i can actually fuck with i, I appreciate this this is real dope i'm just gonna have to put it out we're going through a new season of hell pop junkie and it's gonna be sporadic but it's gonna be at it by the hip hop shit that i can't get enough and it, oh that was whack. <laughs> all right we out this bitch brought to you by your dude. Holla at your boy. We gonna sign out. And if uh, you like signing out, please make sure you subscribe to somebody else's good hip hop. Not mine.